thanks for joining me again today. Did you know that our God is a solid rock that we can trust in? Well, today we're going to visit a place that has a lot of neat rocks. It's a place called Arches National Park. And then we're going to read a little bit from Psalm 18 that talks about God being a solid rock. And last but not least, we're going to build a fort. Welcome to Arches National Park. Arches National Park is in Moab, Utah, in a high desert. The park has the most stone arches all in one spot. There are over 2,000 arches in the park, ranging from thin cracks to big spans. The arches are made of sandstone. Sandstone is made of grains of sand that are glued together by minerals. The rock is full of tiny spaces. Some of the famous arches are the Delicate Arch, Sand Dune Arch, and Window Arches. You can see a lot of them from your car, but there are also many trails to hike. They allow you to get closer to the arches. Enjoy the view! Aren't those some neat rocks? Well, we're going to read today in the Bible from Psalm 18, some verses there that talk about God being our solid rock. This is David, King David speaking. He says, I love you, Lord. You are my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my savior. My God is my rock in whom I find protection. He is my shield, the power that saves me, and my place of safety. I called on the Lord who is worthy of praise and he saved me from my enemies. I'm going to stop there for a second. This is actually before King David became king. He was running from King Saul. King Saul was his enemy and was chasing him and trying to capture him. And David, at this point, had just been freed from Saul. Saul was no longer his enemy and he's thanking the Lord for protecting him and for saving him from Saul. I'll go down a little bit farther. 
In my distress, I cried out to the Lord. Yes, I prayed to my God for help. He heard me from his sanctuary. My cry to him reached his ears. He reached down from heaven and rescued me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemies, from those who hated me and were too strong for me. They attacked me at a moment when I was in distress, but the Lord supported me. He led me to a place of safety. He rescued me because he delights in me. The Lord rewarded me for doing right. He restored me because of my innocence. For I have kept the ways of the Lord. I have not turned from my God to follow evil. I have followed all his regulations. I have never abandoned his decrees. I am blameless before God. I have kept myself from sin. The Lord rewarded me for doing right. He has seen my innocence. To the faithful, he's, he's saying this to God now, to the faithful God, you show yourself faithful. To those with integrity, you show integrity. To the pure, you show yourself pure. But to the crooked, the evil people, you show yourself shrewd. You rescue the humble, but you humiliate the proud. You light a lamp for me. The Lord my God lights up my darkness. In your strength, I can crush an army. With my God, I can scale any wall. God's way is perfect. All the Lord's promises prove true. He is a shield for all who look to him for protection. For who is God except the Lord? Who but our God is a solid rock? God arms me with strength and he makes my way perfect. Let's just take a moment there and thank God for being our protector. Maybe you are going through a difficult time and you need someone to protect you you need someone to help you God is there just talk to him just speak to him to say some words just ask him for help and he will help you father we just thank you that you are our helper that you are the solid rock that we can go to just like we saw those rocks those big mountainous type of rocks in Arches National Park Lord you are that rock for us you are this strong strong rock that we can go to for help. Help us today, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. At Arches National Park, we saw some neat caves as well as the mountains and hills there. Well, today we're going to make our own little cave, our own little fort. So, let's grab some chairs. if this blanket's going to work. Make the chair a little bit closer. Okay, so we've got our little fort. And then, let's see if I can crawl inside there. Oh, we have a visitor in the fort. Look who's in the fort with me. Hi, Molly. Yes. Hi there. Well, it was neat spending time with you today. Have a good day.